Hello everybody! Happy New Year! Gaz Williams here, and in this video I'm going to be jamming on Endless Desktop with the creator Tim Exile. Now, those of you who've been watching my channel certainly will know that uh, this is something I've been very excited to be partly involved in. Um, we helped uh, Tim launch uh, Endless um, a couple of years ago on Sonic State and we had the first large format jam which was so much fun. I'd met Tim the year before that when he'd come into Sonic uh, Towers to show his then current software. There was a slew, shed load of oscillators and slaw, shed load of resonators and, and he hinted about this software that was coming out. Now that turned out to be Endless, which when we shown it, it was just an iOS app, but we had this uh, this big jam where about 600 Sonic State watchers took part in that jam. So that was a real thrill. I'll put links to that in the notes below. So well worth a watch. Uh, and then I met up with Tim uh, at the beginning of last year after the NAM show, uh, and we went for a walk up to the Griffith Observatory in LA and had a, had a great philosophical chat, which some of the underlying ideas about Endless was discussed. I'll put links to that in too, in the show notes below. So if you've seen the iOS version, it is instantly familiar. It's very similar. And in fact, something that's very cool to understand is that if you use the desktop version of it, you can jam with someone who's using the, the mobile version of it on their phone. And I think that's something that's very, very cool. It's, it works all as one ecosystem. So as you can imagine, with Endless running inside your host, I'm using Cubase, but it could be an AU as well in Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you're using, uh, you can integrate it with your existing workflow. Endless can be a plugin or it can run standalone. Like I've got it running here, I've got it in full screen. And one of the super cool things is, you can click this little MIDI icon here, and it means that most of the functions of Endless can be mapped to your chosen MIDI controller. Now, I know that in the jam, I'm gonna want to use guitars and basses and stuff, so my hands are gonna be busy. So, like a good looper, I can map things, in this case, to the Roland FC300. So I'll come over. This retrospective looper is one of my favorite things about Endless. It basically means you can have eight, the last eight bars, four bars, two bars, or one bar. And this is superb. Normally with looping, you have to set the in point and then the out point. In the case of Endless, you keep jamming and playing away until you think that you've playing something good and then you can go oh I'll just have the last two bars or I'll just have the last four bars or the last eight bars or one bar you know so you just don't have to think about that so much you can just really get into the playing of it and that's certainly something that I did in the jam anyway I think without further ado let's jump into the jam that's a little beat to get started on oh yeah Oh, 
Tim Exel here. So that was um, a really amazing jam that I had with Gaz just before Christmas. Um, it went all over the place. It was a hell of a lot of fun. I think we jammed for about an hour and a half in total in the end. Um, most of it was pretty wild and out of control, but I thought there were some really good little bits. I had a moment to flick through what we did. It's here on my phone. It's just synced automatically. There's this little section near the beginning that um, it was almost kind of dubby. It was a mix between this kind of lo-fi hip-hop and a sort of dub kind of vibe to it. And I really like that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just pull some of these riffs out. Um, I'm going to drag them into Pro Tools. Yes, no, I, I know Pro Tools, but I'm old. And arrange them into a track. Let's see how that goes. So this is the first riff I'm going to drag in. So here's it. here it's playing from End of Studio. <laughs> And I literally just drag it in, drop it in Pro Tools like that. And there you can see uh, you've got all the loops in there. They're only playing a single repetition right now. So in Endless Studio, well, in, in all of Endless, you, your loops can be of any length. So obviously when you drag them out, um, what I need to do here is then extend those loops just to make sure that they fit the full length of the longest loop. So the next thing is, it's basically the same, but it's with Gaz's amazing castanet, lobster hands. Um, so as you can see, it's basically exactly the same, but with an extra castanet part here. Next one, I'm going to go for this sort of mischievous synth line. Uh, so I'm going to drop that in there, drag that out, drop that in. I love those shakers that that Gaz did. I have a feeling that when it gets round to doing the full arrangement that those shakers are going to be pretty much everywhere. Cool, so that's, yeah, that's the basic ar arrangement. It's super rough around the edges, but at least I know what to do next. That's the most important thing when you're making music you need to have some kind of intuition for what happens next, what you're going to do next, and you need to be able to do that thing really simply. I think now is the time to get all the parts on the right channels, etc. done arrangement tetris so yeah <laughs> so i think you can see how much fun well certainly how much fun i was having during that jam and something that i wasn't expecting after the jam i felt like i'd done a gig i was exhilarated it was a really thrilling thing even though it was only me and tim in the jam my goodness i've really missed playing with other musicians through this covid era and it just means that endless feels like a really vital piece of software and I'm super thrilled to have got to know Tim and to have been able to be a small part of the endless journey the endless journey um so anyway Tim sent the mix over to me and I thought I would just do a little bit of mastering on it and I've got it going here into the uh, electron analog heat I made a video of the analog heat as a mastering device I think it's great it just adds that little bit of oh I don't know little little knotting it all together you know finishing it off and uh and then it's going into some ozone uh from isotope as well for the finalization uh so let's put this down right. let's bring the drive up dry wet mix let's go fully wet with it I'm using the saturation mode bit of low end boost bit of treble as well Track. Sounds good. Bypass. More drive. A bit too much drive. Pull it back a bit. A bit more low end. Without. Little bit too high, 
With the settings that I like, I render off a mix and wow, you know, it's like a finished track made from those endless jams. Now, of course, that's just that mix. As you saw from all the components, you could make any kind of mix from it. It's uh, It really is endless, as the name suggests. And uh, yeah, I feel really excited to have actually been able to be a little part of the endless journey because I think it truly is revolutionary software and um, gosh we don't quite know what the future has in store but one thing I do know is that we need to keep connected and need to keep making music together and I think endless offers one of the best opportunities to do that if we can't physically be in the same place. Anyway, I'd like to say massive thanks to Tim Exile for taking time out and for having the jam with me. I uh, I love Endless so much and uh, I'm sure you will too. And now, as it's moved to the desktop, it just feels that much more serious and the way it can integrate with your existing software and hardware as well really does take it to the next level. I'm Gus Williams. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, Happy New Year and be safe. Big love. Bye-bye.